Hello, my fellow readers. This is I, Dark Symphony 777, with another fan fiction reading. As always, the link to the story will be in the description below. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, click on be that bell for notifications, and leave a comment in the comment section below on your thoughts of the story. So, the story I am reading is Lights Up 2, Not So Electric Boogaloo by Phantom Monstar. It is a No Straight Roads fan fiction. Now, uh, I never even heard of this game until one day on my YouTube feed, uh, there was the thing for Seiyu's theme, which is, I, from what I read, like the, the theme most people think of when they think of the game. And I just, I was bored, I was in between stories, I thought I, wa I, thought I listened just to see what it's like. And so I listened, and I really liked the song, and then I found out about the game, and it's like, I really want to play this game because it looks cool. Um, so I thought, hey, maybe I should do a No Straight Roads fan fiction. Problem is, I couldn't find any on fan fiction, hence why I'm here on Archive of Our Own, where I found this. I just I just wanted to do something with like Seiyu in it because I like Seiyu. I'm mostly familiar with her because she's so adorable. <laughs> like, like I said, I want to play the game, but it's just I just really like Seiyu. Um, so let's get started. Summary: Tatiana reholds the lights up audition and gets cursed for his oh, oh, oh no oh no no oh no 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 oh no and combine that with crack I get I, I this is not gonna end well oh no <clears throat> okay let's uh let's go down this rabbit hole and hope I don't I don't go insane from the curseness. <laughs> After recent events, Tatiana wanted to redeem herself in NSR, reheld the Lights Up auditions, now accepting artists no matter the genre. So far, all the people auditioning have been quite good. They were simply perform siblings performing an a cappella cover of one of Eats music, a teenage girl with an acoustic guitar singing her heart out with an original song, and a man with imp impressive beatboxing skills. She was surprised how much they all could power the quaza, despite having few instruments in the music. Tatiana is hopeful for the next person, whoever they may be. They could be one of the most amazing upcoming star. What? That's that. That, that should say stars. That I'm just saying. You can imagine her disappointment when someone bursts in with an atama, atama, atama tone. Is that a real thing? That can't be a real thing. Can it? No. I, I want to hold on. I want to. I want to see what this thing is. Oh no. <laughs> oh no no. <gasps> what is that? The borrow quote from R.E. Lemley. What is that? What the fuck is that? <laughs> oh no. Okay. Let's uh, get back to the story before that thing sears itself into my mind. Uh, with a song he has heard from the younger generations thousands of times. A song with lyrics she wishes she could forget. Alright kids, you're too young to listen to this, and I'm too old to control them. <laughs> oh, that sentence is so funny. Deion J says that he covered up Yinu. Okay, okay. Yinu, Yinu is, is, is nine. I think she's nine. Hold on. Alright, so... Uh, all right, kid. Oh, wait. I already read that. It's Neon J says as he covered up Inu's ears again. I said that. Hey, I'm nine. I'm big. I don't think you're old enough to listen to whatever, whatever I think this is going to be. Oh, no. uh, let's just say it's not. Let's just hope it's not something from the boondocks. That would be bad. She darts it around wanting to listen to whatever the cyborg does not want her to hear. Eleni and Haim, the troublemakers of 1010, start screaming out the lyrics in tune with the young person's automaton. Two trucks. <laughs> oh, God. Is that. Are those actual. Wait, I, I'm not going to look this up, but I ple please, I want someone to do their research for me. Is that an actual lyric for a song? <laughs> Uh, let's see if I, uh, <coughs> <coughs> Two 
two trucks having sex. Two trucks having sex. My muscles, my muscles, involuntary flex. <laughs> <laughs> They can't be real. They have, they have to be just made up. They have to. If this is an actual song, I, I will eat a shirt. I will, I will record myself eating a goddamn shirt. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh, let, let's keep going. Neon Jay would face home at his son's actions if his hands weren't busy and it had a face that was on a monitor. You boys don't even have muscles. I can listen to whatever they're singing. I know lots of adult words like fuck, shit, and who the fuck taught you those words, young woman? Neon J questions, realizing his doom's too late. <clears throat> Nino's mother decided to watch her home instead. If she sees what Neon J did, well, he may become a full robot. Um, Nino's mother's yeah. Nino's mother is like the eat the red thing. Yeah, I would I wouldn't put him past her. Uh, Tatiana knows what's gonna happen. Stops the auditionee from continuing their performance. They groan. Alright. What gives? Your talent with the automaton is quite good, Tatiana praises. Trying her best not to crush this person's dream. And she gets an idea so it won't seem suspicious. But could you perform a different song? We have children here. Also, you haven't introduced yourself yet. Okay, okay, that's okay. I'm Noor, and I'm playing an automaton. It's not like I'm singing the lyrics. I appreciate those two 1010 10 members that did, though. You two are cool. <laughs> Yo, that's, that's basically what that one that one scene from the movie. Like, uh, what was it go? Fuck you! Points at Tatiana, fuck you! Uh, points at, um, points at Inu, fuck you! Points at Tineon J. You're cool! Points at, points at, uh, the two 1010 10 members. And fuck you, points at Inu's mom. I'm out. <laughs> Elodie e brightens up that while Ham is just nervous remembering the inappropriate lyrics he sang in front of Inu. I mean, she cursed. If she could curse, then that's fine. <laughs> but she really, but honestly, she shouldn't, she's not, she shouldn't be learning that. Fine. I'll play a family friendly song. Nora plays the first note, and Eleni jumps again to sing along, with Seo also joining. Ooh, naktido mana. Ooh, naktido mana. Tell the editors to cut that part out later. I'm not going to de deal with a dead artist. <laughs> Who's going to kill him? Neon J or Yinu's mom? <laughs> okay, after the performance, there was a lunch break scheduled, and then the auditions will continue. Apparently, Yinu's mother definitely noticed that a part was cut, and that she wasn't the star of the performance. Also, her daughter had told her what happened. Run, Neon J, run! So Neon J and the rest of 1010, they're kind of like a hot mind show she blames all of them, won't be continuing the judge for the day. Neither will Yinu since her mom does not feel comfortable letting that happen again. Fair. <laughs> but you can't blame, you can't blame Neon for that. Um... Hi, my name is Vivi, and I will be playing a cover of the classic 80s song that survived through the decades with an instrument that is very hard to master. The next audition he bowed. And what instrument would that be? The recorder. Uh, the, Vivi blows hard and plays notes familiar to the younger artist. No, 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 you could at least have the decency to stick bug. Say so yells, lightly being controlled by Remy. He presses the X button, Vivi does not budge. Oh god, why are we still being... <laughs> <laughs> and it's got Rick Rock. Oh, I was like, what song from the 80s would last through the decades? Oh, that's so funny. Oh, God, why are we still getting Rick rolled in 2020? Eve asked the gosh. She presses the X button, hoping that would stop Vivi, but she does not. <clears throat> Uh, to DJ Subatomic Supernova, he unfamiliar to the memes, he thought this was such an insult to the great 80s hit. The recorder isn't even a good one. It's a cheap plastic type. Okay, so, so, uh, okay, so Seiyu said it, okay, so, so Seiyu does it because 
because she doesn't like the song and Eve just doesn't like and Eve doesn't like the meme uh, Supernova just doesn't like the recorder <laughs> uh, he presses the X button and only then did baby baby pay attention wait you I was expecting 1010 but not you she expressed her confusion how dare you call yourself a master that sounded abysmal I mean I didn't actually say I was a master it's just hard to master it's true I did hear recorders are actually kind of hard to learn what kind of, you know what, you're not, you're not even going to take this seriously, just get out. Alright, I capture your response before dropping an old mp3 with Baby by Justin Bieber playing Breaking Say <laughs> No, poor, poor Say You. <laughs> She's Best Mermaid. After shutting off the music, they continue. Say You had been broken because of Remy's murderous rage, and the kids had to leave their glorified trench coat. Okay, so it's not Sayu, it's now just the, the, the people controlling Sayu. Okay, the next group performances are mostly good, and some okay. No one tried trolling them again, because is anyone really going to say, Rick roll again, we're going to kill you. <laughs> the next one, about five people dressing like they're from the medieval times, comes in with various instruments. Most of them wooden and all are old looking. We've got to get another troll with, like, Monty Python gimmick this time. <laughs> wait, our, wait, what's our band name again? One person asks. Holding a liar. We haven't thought of one yet, I think. Someone holding a flute answers. You you haven't thought of a band name? Tila asks judgingly. Look, we're the good at medieval star music. Just ask us to play any song, the first person informs. <clears throat> Pumped up kids by Foster of the People, please. Sophia, Sofa shouts. You want us to play that? All right then, no judgments. A member with a loop plays the first notes. Multiple judgments here. Uh, Remy looks at the, to the video editor. Why? Uh, it's a catchy song. I feel like they're trying to kill us through this song. A wary of a look of worry is visible on Tila. Dodo chimes in. Could you guys lighten up? Maybe Sofa just wants to listen to some, some good tunes. Meanwhile, Eve is googling something on her phone, ignoring the teenager's conversation. Hush. This song sounds familiar. Though I have never known the lyrics, or even the title. Pumped up kicks, huh? Oh no, Eve, don't go on the internet. <clears throat> the results show up, and Eve silently covers her mouth. That is slightly worrying. What? Um. You know what, I don't know. <laughs> Overall, it had been a good performance. And while the Quaza wasn't powered up entirely, they could still make a career out of medieval style music. Even if a small one. Hi, my name is Julian. I'm 11 and I want to express my feelings. Uh, okay, so we're gonna get another, you know, I hope. Uh, I'm, not, I, I'm, try, I'm not trying to go ahead. Tatiana looks down at the little boy. And what are you gonna, <laughs> And the scream continues. Stop screaming, child. Eve covers her here with all six of her hands. No, <laughs> He hears you just screaming. <laughs> Somehow the quaza began to be lifted faster than anyone has before. After only a minute, the quaza is already full. <clears throat> Come on, quid! The quaza is filled. Stop screaming already! DJ Subatomic Supernova covers his non-existent ears. You can't hear. How can you? How can you hear? Why did we have to break Sayu Remy? We could have gotten there and mute the speaker. Sofa scolds the artist. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Pump Gump Kicks. No! Ah, where is security? Tatiana looks around to find them. I have every mind to fire all of you for not doing your job. Uh, Dodo looks in bewilderment when he sees a peek from the door and all the security is passed out. The, screams, the kid screaming has also been attacks. After a while, the kid just stops. And the gun. Goodbye. <laughs> this is so cursed. And he runs away. But right after that, a woman in charge of the list of adoptionees ado stopped in. I'm sorry, Miss Tiana. He somehow got past security and he didn't even sign up. Uh. After Okay, it's almost over. This is so cursed. After getting over the last performance, the last few auditions are finally done, except for one. A woman who must be in her late 30s to early 40s entered the stage with an electric guitar. Hi, my name is Cass, and I'm going to play one of the greatest forms of rock of all time, in my opinion at least. And what would that be, Tatiana asked. Christian rock! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!
I just have one thing to say to the author. It's got to be good. <laughs> Those words hit the CEO like a brick. She hadn't heard that genre in a long time. Christian Rock, DJ Subatonic Supernova, puts a finger on his mouth. Curious. I'll admit, I don't think I heard of that before. Probably because I'm not Christian myself. Nor was I that big on rock. I'm curious about what you'll perform to us. Actually, Christian rock is pretty popular back in the day. You probably just didn't know that whenever it played. Tatiana stands up from her seat. Tati, what are you going? Eve has a confused tone. I'm going to leave. I don't think I'll be able to judge this fairly. Uh, oh, Miss Tatiana, didn't used to go by Kofira? I heard that your career was started by Mary John. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, the silver woman visibly flinches, then continues to rush out the door. Yeah, this became really unfunny towards the end. Uh, Songs over two trucks uh, by Lemon Neiman, uh, Makatana, blah, blah, blah. Never gonna give you up. And pumped up kicks by Fox. Okay, so that is the story. It didn't. Yeah, I have to agree. It did. It, it did. It, it got unfunny towards the end. I do think, as a crack story. Honestly, this this is honestly just a waste of potential. I mean, the idea is there. It started out fine enough. But, like, after... After what? The, um... The Rick Roll thing, it kind of it kind of started faltering, faltering. Like, the medial thing was okay. I think... I, I honestly think this would have been better if I knew what, what Eve was looking up. But, um... But yeah, the scream was annoying, and uh, Christian Rock it, it, it was okay because you know, you know because uh, Tatiana or Kofira kind of was well started by Christian Rock in this story. Overall, it's the first, the first, uh, the, the the first half is all right. Second half is it's kind of lame. It's kind of underwhelming. Um, and I just based it off the first half, I would give it a three, but because of the second half, I'm gonna have to give it a two out of five. I just, it's just, it just completely faltered in the second half of the story. That's really, that's really it. I do think, I just didn't, I just didn't know what a tabatone is. That that stuff's all burned into my brain. Uh, it's no, it, it can't be. Wait a minute, two. Tr no, no, it's it's an actual song. I just realized this is the song. This is the song. This is the oh my oh Lemon Demon. Of course, it's um Lemon Demon's the guy who does the Ultimate Showdown. Who did the Ultimate Showdown? Of course, they would do something that stupid. So. Two out of five, it started good, but then it faltered in the second half. Like after, a, after the um, after the Rick Roll thing, that was you know that's when it started faltering. Like it's fine for what it is. It's supposed to be like a crack story, so it's supposed to be like really really stupid. But um, I think it's all it's all right. But I can't give I can't give it any higher than a two because that second half just so it's just underwhelming. Like it's not bad. It's written competently, but it's but since it's supposed to be like a crack story, it's supposed to be like kind of funny and and kind of kind of supposed to be like out there. It, it kind of underwhelms in that regard. So a two out of five. That is that is the story. That is a uh, lights up audition two. Not so Boogaloo. Um, <clears throat> so this has been Dark Symphony 777 and cut.